Uh, tell me one thing, one thing you learned today, what impacted um, you the most? Yeah, I thought just the, the concept of the dog versus cat theology, I've just never heard it explained in that way, but just like all of that, just like I thought was really, really good. Good. Next. Um, I really liked the minoring on, or paying more attention to the minor characters and really thinking about God's story woven through them as well. Good. Next. So I thought the um, diversity and then harmony comes to greatest glory. That, that Amen. Young lady. Um, thinking about the other side of the cross. Other side of the cross. Uh, the glory of all the diversity and creation that God gets. Good. And not being all about us. Not being all about us. In cat theology, it's, it's us. Cat theology. Today's society being entitled, but dogs are not. Entitlement in the church. I like to learn uh, about the glory of God. And glory of more God. into it. Amen. The other side of the cross. Other side of the cross. Same. Same. <laughs> that incomplete, confusing messaging that we hear as a church. It's about God. This is, it's all about me. Conflicting, confusing communication. Good. I'm glad that salvation is the stepping stone to fulfilling my purpose. It's Amen. not about me. It's not there. about you. Um, I just... Just so much. I mean, just thinking about God's glory and how it impacts us personally and changes us. Good. Yeah. I'll be thinking about what does God get? What does God get? Just to put what uh, God's glory first. The first question is how does God get glory out of this? Amen. Um, just truly surrendering to how he wants me to serve him, not how I think mm. I should be doing it. Good. Christ's death was primarily to glorify God. Good. God uh, reveals greater glory by unifying diversity. Good. Salvation's not the end goal. Salvation's not the end goal, sir. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe Job's kids. Job's kids. Very good. Let's start over here, young man. Just the other side of the cross. Other side of the cross. Relating to Job's kids. Job's Life's kids. Yeah, the, the cross is primarily for God's glory. The cross is primarily for the glory of God. Uh, God's glory is satisfying and sustaining. It satisfies and sustains, good. We can glorify God through our suffering. We can glorify God through suffering. Like the Grand Canyon illustration, I feel like I get very wrapped up in just looking at what he's done and today and that, you know, just was good to help me understand that. Good, good. Here we go, Matt. I really like thinking about God having fun with the fish. <laughs> Amen. That's great. Go ahead. Uh, that it's not incorrect. It's just incomplete. Not incorrect, but incomplete. God's greatest glory was revealed when all nations worship him. Good. Noah, you want to share anything? All right. Over here. And Job's kids revealing God's glory. Job's kids revealing God's glory. Well, biggest bottleneck to missions is parents. Parenting. Uh, I think a lot of things that we believe are true, but they're incomplete. Incomplete. When I pray, um, instead of bringing my wish list to the Lord, I should pray with a view for his glory in mind. Amen. Amen. 